One of the most annoying features Ford added to their modern vehicles is the auto stop feature. And what that does is when you're sitting in traffic, it kills the engine to your vehicle. Now the thought process is it saves gas mileage, but what it really does is annoys most owners. Now, one of the only good things to come out of the chip shortage is a lot of the modern vehicles aren't coming with it because they can't get that microchip, so Ford's giving you a credit. Well, if you happen to get a Bronco like ours did that has that auto stop feature, you need an auto stop eliminator. This will allow you to defeat that feature, and when you turn your vehicle, it'll be turned off permanently. Today, we're gonna show you how to install it. All right, so the button is located right here. The plug is gonna install behind this, so this piece has to come out. So the first thing you're gonna do if you have a handle, is removed with two T30 Torx bits. In our case, this is a base model, there is no handle, so we're going to start by removing the lower panel right underneath here. So I'm going to get a plastic pry bar basically in the corner here, work your way across, popping the clips out, and release the clips at the bottom too. That panel aside. Now to remove the main panel is going to be a screw behind this panel below the steering column. You can simply just get a grip on this and pop it out. and remove the screw right here. Now we're on the passenger side, you're gonna open the glove box door. And there's a screw right up here, it's kinda hard to see, but it's right up under the edge of the dash. Okay, now you can use a plastic pry bar or use your hands. Carefully pop out the panel. Pull it out just a bit. At this point, put a little towel over your console just so you don't scratch it up. You remove this harness right here on top. I plug this into our auto stop eliminator. Plug that back in. And use the provided zip ties to zip tie the harness safely out of the way. All right, trump the zip tie, and we can put the whole assembly back into place. Run up all the tabs, and click it back in. And now we can reinstall the screws on both sides of the dash. Again, on the driver's side, reinstall factory screw. And put the panel back up into place. And last step, reinstall this lower closeout panel. And your installation is finished. So the auto stop limiter installed. Now when you go to start your Bronco and you hit your start button, it's gonna automatically default to auto start off. And you can turn it on if you want to. If you hit the button, it will turn it back on, but instead of defaulting to on, it will default to off. The auto stop eliminator is a very simple solution. What works out to be a pretty annoying problem. It's like, sure, every time you start your Bronco, you can hit the button, but with the eliminator, you don't have to worry about it. Start the key up and go, and never have to worry about it shutting off in traffic. The installation is pretty straightforward. It'll take you less than an hour, and you'll be back on the road in no time.